A few days ago, this was just an empty plot of land. But if all goes well in a few days time, we will be planting the very first seeds of our vegetable garden. I realized I know nothing about gardening. This was all made possible by Arctic Acres who supplied us with a kit for their 18 by 18 geodesic dome for year round growing. Last time we got to work leveling the area, building the walls, and made great progress on the triangle framing. But the to-do list is long if we plan on finishing this week. So luckily we have the help of Ben and another familiar face. Hey, it's Tim. To get this done without too much trouble. Whoa. I love it! Bex just getting up, Ben's on his way, and we'll show you what we're up to this morning. Come on. So we're still using this two inch foam board insulation. No, I'm just kidding, it's not for you. And I'm filling in all the side walls and then I'm gonna foam around the edges. That was a bad idea. So the next step is to use this sheet metal and cover up all the walls because there's gonna be a garden bed here and obviously you want the moisture not to go into the wall. I feel like as soon as I open this, it's going to all explode. Not as bad as I thought. Here's a fun little hack if you ever have quarter inch head hex head screws. No bit at all, no bit needed. Morning. <laughs> Morning. All right, so Ben rocked up. He brought me a few more of these foam board insulations. We need a few more sections filled. So I'm gonna work on that and we're gonna divide and conquer. He's gonna start cracking on the door. Did you say skylight? Sexy time. Ben, there's a skylight? <laughs> uh -oh. Little classy touches. Include a Milwaukee bit for you, just in case you need a freshie. <laughs> and as always, we've got Oso the supervisor. Oh, 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 boy. Hey Os, you helping everybody? And I guess my role is instruction reader and videographer for the day. Okay. It's the same. This entire place smells like rain and cedar, and there's just nothing better. I'm here for it. All right, let's do our best to keep our relationship intact, okay? So no. up, up, up. You up. Right, the whole idea is this is just a spacer, right? Exactly, that's all of it. Literally just spaces it up higher such that it matches the outside profile. Oh. Uh, because if it doesn't, it sits below it and it'll hold water and we don't want that. Okay. So. So take this basically down. Basically, we shouldn't have gotten a skylight. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude, this is so sick. It's gonna be worth it. Oh yeah. Good things take time. Let's redo that, eh? Option number two. Oh yeah, option two definitely works. When's the last time you washed your feet, bro? Uh, uh, You're mucking up my skylight! Honestly, I don't remember. I love it! <laughs> I love it! New housemates. You guys have got to go. <laughs> See ya, boys. Very unpleasant noise. Uh, you climbing ladders these days, buddy? Start doing push ups, they leave. <sighs> Hello. Hoping today is the last day and we're going to wrap it up. This morning I'm going to paint the exterior. Nice. <laughs> Freeze. Just kidding, Os. It's just a toy. It's just a toy. Good boy. 
So the baseboard does come primed, but they recommend you put a coat of paint on it. So I'm gonna quickly spray the girl. What color did he go with? I went with my favorite color, red. How's this gonna go? Oh my God, horribly. Oh my God, so bad. That went so freaking bad. Oh, wow, amen. I wow. don't know what I'm doing, but I'm in control. Oh, Here is the not so fun part of using a paint gun. Clean up. But I still think it's worth it. What's cracking? Welcome back. Yeah, buddy. I was missing you yesterday, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You leave me all to myself, eh? <laughs> Yet again, Ben's working solo, beating us to <laughs> times three. That looks so good. Just roughing it in. I think we gotta trim a little bit, but she's pretty tight snug. She looks so cute. Yeah. Ben's got the door a little tight, so we're gonna take off a quarter inch. <laughs> Test fit one. Take two. Just a little more. Take three. No. No! <laughs> Hold on, I got So you might be wondering, well, Eamon, what is going on with all these seams here? It looks like a lot of cracks, a lot of drainage situations. And the answer is quite slick. It is this aerospace engineered tape. Aerospace engineered. So you see this, Beck? Yes. This is the uh, aerospace engineered tape. You put us down like that. Yeah. And it just creates like a beautiful seal. If you get all the screw heads, if everything's covered up, she doesn't leak. These kind of jobs aren't really meant for Eamon. He's not a perfectionist by any means, so. If it was me though, it would take me all day. I'd be like, oh, there's a little crinkle. Oh my God. The things I do for this YouTube channel. Just stick right to it. I'm gonna put some of that tape on my feet. Also, here's lunch today. We're just hammering through. We wanna get this done. Here's the last piece of polycarbonate. Nice. Another one. Was that day four? Three, four. Oh, buddy, Look at that's the big old egg sack underneath. Tarantula level. You see the. You put them on my hand? Is that a bad idea? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a bad idea. Oh my god. Why have I done this? <laughs> Enjoy. Off. Off, baby. <laughs> Off. Before we go any further with this greenhouse build, we want to remind you about the MBG, the most valuable greens, AG1 by Athletic Greens. Even if you're eating the most optimal diet, there are likely nutritional gaps. So it feels good knowing that one scoop of AG1 contains 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food source ingredients. This delicious and easy to make drink has probiotics, which improve gut health, a mushroom complex, which supports immunity and antioxidants. Plus, Athletic Greens values really align with our own as they believe nutrition is a fundamental human right. So for every order of AG1, they donate to organizations that deliver nutritious meals to children in need. That's pretty damn cool. AG1 is so much more than just a greens powder. It's nine different health products in one. And when you think about it like that, it really is a great deal. A lot cheaper than those soy macchiatos, Stacy. 
We've been drinking this daily for the past few years and is now part of our morning routine. So if you're looking for some nutritional insurance, head over to athleticgreens.com slash Eamon and Beck and you'll get five free travel plaques plus a year supply of vitamin D with first purchase. Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. We've got our boy Ben in the corner. Hey! And this is his last day with us. He's told us he's sick and tired of hanging out with us. I can't stand these guys. So, that means today we're putting him to work. <laughs> we have got a massive to-do list. So hopefully we see some serious updates on the greenhouse. All right, list has been built. So we've got eight items, starting with fan one and fan two. Not too bad. Fan one. Fan one is hooked up. We come in here. That's quiet, huh? Very quiet. And you can run off 110 power as well. You gotta pay for that though. From the government. From the man. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, it's kicking into high gear. Ben just moved the panel directly into the sun. <laughs> so it's, it doesn't have a battery system. As soon as it has more voltage from the sun, Oh, it starts ripping, eh? That's the difference between shade and sun. It'll, it'll run in the shade, but sun is what you're looking for. Fan number two is not going to be quite as simple because it's getting mounted on the roof, which means ladders, which means one guy inside, one guy outside. Anyway, let's get sticking to it. Ooh. Crispy. Oh, this is kind of heavy, eh? A little bit. This guy gives me the hard job. <laughs> just a little bit of caulk on each tip. Yeah. Just hold it on or something. Yeah, that, that would work as well. When in doubt, friends, use your cock. I'm 31 now. You know, it's time to grow up a little bit. Cock has got to be at least 100 years old. Nice. <laughs> Early spring, late fall, and winter, when it's hot in the daytime, cold at night, bonk, you close that and that just stops the airflow. Okay? Fan number two. Oh my gosh. What we made? I'm not sure I'd be much help if I can only lift my arm this much, but I can bring green juice. Ben, same rules apply. If you can guess the juice, <laughs> uh -oh. you can take the day off. No, there's no spinach. That was... Oh, maybe. Oh, oh no, there is. <laughs> No, uh, there is no spinach today. Um, green. We'll go with kale then. It's like a dark, like a... Swiss char. It's ah. close. Close. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll build me a pool, boys. So if you guys didn't see the last video, we explained that the greenhouse actually has a pool. It's basically a thermal battery. So when it gets hot throughout the day, it helps regulate the temperature throughout the cold nights. And we're gonna start working on that now. So Ben's inside, he's gonna start installing the wood kind of framing support. And I'm gonna work on the actual sheet metal, which we just cut. Now we're attaching a little L bracket on each side. Oh, it's okay, I think they got it. L bracket. That's gonna connect the pool. That's gonna be two pieces, 10 foot each, to make like a little teardrop kind of shape. And then there's a proper liner that goes in with sand at the bottom, and then you fill it with water. That's the pool. That's the whole front side. All right, dude. Thanks for your help today. Eh? Dude, appreciate it, man. All right, Thank dude. You. See you in the morning. Yeah. Help. Help me. It's nice to have like a ladder, like right there. <laughs> right, right there. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> and could you throw me those gloves, actually? It's probably not the last time someone's going to be in that pool. No. Oh, oh buddy! Whew. Huh. Still not done yet? <laughs> We're reusing the plastic as insulation. This reuse. 
This is not actually going inside the pool. This is going to be just insulation between the actual pool wall and the wall of the greenhouse. Oh, it's heavier than you think, buddy. The past few days, we've been doing a lot of computer work. Also, it's been a little bit depressed. So I think he's pretty jacked up to see us outside working again. Hey, watch out for the camera, Os. Oh. 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 The sand has landed. Beauty. Can I start loading? Uh, yeah, try to keep it on the gravel and I'll use this yep. as like a walking plank. Please. Like the opposite of what you just told me to do there? <laughs> <laughs> the exact opposite. Right, I got you. Ooh, you goobered me, buddy. You goobered me, did ya? <laughs> My rock. I didn't want it to take it, but I knew as soon as I threw it, he was going after it. Last night he was just howling out of nowhere. Just one howl. <laughs> Ow! It woke us up and we're like, did Oso just howl? <laughs> what the? Just one, too. It's so random. New York fashion show. You look cool. We'll, we'll, we'll have all the overlap to one side. Uh, we, it better to center it a little bit, and then okay. we've got a little bit more to play with. Yeah. This is the bar! Drop yours. Slice it. Woo! She's cutting nice! Wow, this is much, much more mega than I was expecting as well. Yeah, it's sweet, eh? So are we putting some fish in here? Fish, water, algae, plants. Water plants, lily pads. Do you want a uh, snack? Yes, please. Are Fresh these... basil from our garden. Oh, so only woke up for the food. Beginning of building the greenhouse, I had no eyebrows and no hair. So poor Ben. <laughs> Didn't get a very good version of me when he first met me. I mean, this, is, this isn't this is all I'm cracked up to be, but it's not too bad. I think it's been like three weeks. Like, that's how fast it's been. That's how long this greenhouse takes to build. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. My only role in this part of the greenhouse build is to come and do the check marks. So build pool. Check, boys, and under cap? Yep. Also done. Because I know exactly what that is. <laughs> Ben's leaving. For the last time ever. Never, ever coming back. Dude. Dude, thank you. Dude, yeah. thank you. Oh, dude, that's Appreciate this is killer. Yeah. Had a hell of a build. That was awesome. Where do people find uh, your domes if they want them? Arcticacres.ca. Plug it. Check us out. Okay, you guys, if I can help with anything, just shoot me a message, Thanks, okay? Thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. you. Okay. Thanks, be well. We'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> see you, Ben. So, this will be hopefully the last day on the greenhouse. So, I've called in one of my heavy hitters. Hey, it's Tim. <laughs> Rhymes with Jim. His name's it's Tim. Tim. How you doing, buddy? I'm excellent. How are you guys? How are you doing? I'm How's good. everybody doing out there? Life is good. So my neighbor owns this sawmill, and we got live edge cedar. 20 boards, 150 bucks. Not bad. Ready to go, bud? Can you hold that? Is it on? Yeah. Well, I should definitely put the camera on me if it's on, yeah. <laughs> hold on, Tim, you're not facing me, buddy. Nope, sir. Living in the country, my neighbors are basically all farmers, so there's a good chance someone's got a sawmill. I just knocked on his door, and sure enough, he's got a sawmill. Yeah. All right, red home. So welcome, Tim. Hey. Okay. This is the fish. greenhouse, dude. Sweet. Should uh, have it farther out where it can actually get some sun. I know that's what everyone Gosh. says on YouTube. But it's winter time. It's winter time. That's the important thing, right? Leaves are gone. Leaves are gone. Cool. Very cool. Is this another hot tub? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically the plan today is to build the garden beds. We're going to start by framing it out and then we're going to use that nice fresh cedar to run and use that as the face board. We do, we do it right, we do it right, we do it the right face. Alright yeah, Tim, one, we'll one do it as a team. So we're going to come two feet off the wall, make little five foot squares, 
mount them in a, like a bit of a hex pattern to kind of mimic the hex we got going on here. So we're kind of making this up because as you can imagine, we've got one big circle that's the outside perimeter of the greenhouse and now we're making a smaller circle so we don't know the exact measurements. You know, the outside circle is five feet wide, now we're trying to make it maybe three, four, so I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but. Next thing we're gonna do is install the undersoil ducting. So I got Tim to pick up this four inch duct tube. It's like weeping tile tube. And basically they've got amazing little drawings, but that's what it's gonna look like. So next we got to dig underneath the doorway for it to trench underneath. Then we can finish putting all the beds together. Ready to dig a hole? Ready to dig a hole, buddy. Watch the camera. Watch the button. Oh, so. Oh, so and I have come up to the greenhouse to do a little inspection. It sounds like the boys are back to their old bantering ways. We're impressed. Thanks, buddy. Good job, boys. I realize that some of you might have missed the last video we posted, which shared all about my surgery journey. But the reason I'm not out here working is I don't have quite the range of motion and uh, just feeling fatigued post-surgery. So uh, it's best not to lift anything over five pounds, they said, for the first two weeks. So. So we now just lined the beds with plastic and we're looking at how big these damn beds are. They're raised beds, obviously. That is a lot of fill that we need to wheelbarrow into this little house. Like a lot. Tim thinks 30, I think maybe 60 wheelbarrows. Like look how deep these things are. So Tim, yeah. I'm thinking instead of doing that right now, yeah. we uh, get the boards on. Yep. Maybe you come back here on Saturday and Put some hours on it. Saturday I'm tied up. Sunday? Monday? Sunday. Tuesday? Yeah, I can buy Sunday. Wednesday? Yeah. Whatever time. It's a hot one. Here's the technique we've got right now. You're probably wondering, well, why aren't you using that beauty tractor? Sorry, Kubota. Yeah, it's in the shop. Side by side, dump trailer from my neighbor and the hardest working plus 50 year old I know. Timmy. Is that Timmy? That's because you feed me athletic greens. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Gary was supposed to come today to help me hook up the permanent water solution. So this is going to be our temporary one. And lucky for Gary, it just fits. Oh wait, well, hold on. Oh, it just took a while. Also, you want some water? Filling up the pool. Jeez, that might take a while. We also got some good quality soil from your local Home Depot. Oh no. Also, the bag ripped. Wow, that's beautiful. Grow me some food, baby. Just reading up on how to become a gardener here. Got some lettuces and squash. Seed depth of 2.5 centimeters, does that mean anything to you? <laughs> sure doesn't to me. So yeah, because we are definitely late to the season and complete newbies, this is gonna be a complete experimental year. Yeah. And we heard lettuce is easy, so we're starting with lettuce, tomatoes, some zucchinis, 
see how it goes. We are beginning the planting process and just another reason why we need to start growing our own food. We had no idea this is what a zucchini seed would look like. Kind of like a pumpkin seed. Did you wear like your gardening outfit today? Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Welcome to the butter crunch lettuce section. I'm going to go 1 8th of an inch deep here. Put the seeds in, give them about 12 inches of row space and watch these babies sprout in 7 to 14 days. Please leave me your recommendations. Let me know everything I just did wrong in the comments below so I can get growing and have a little more success. But I think if I come in here at night and I speak to them and I give them lots of love, that might help accelerate the growth too. So, what do you think? It helps with my growth. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Love you too. This is incredible and I cannot wait to do that. So proud of the boys here. One last final walkthrough. All right, this is the last time you're going to see this place without an abundance of produce and fresh organic veg everywhere. Oh, we fill up the pool nice. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm just going for a little swim. I think we're supposed to put goldfish in here. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know, so he's pretty weird. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Bye-bye.